Hello, my name is Alexander Demidovsky, and welcome to the series about OpenVM Deep Learning Warbench, the tool that helps you easily optimize, analyze, and prepare your deep learning models for the deployment. In previous videos, we learned what is Deep Learning Warbench, what are its goals, and how you can achieve them with your own model. And today we will learn how to run Deep Learning Warbench on the Ubuntu system. As always, it starts with official documentation. You need to find the Run the Deep Learning Warbench locally web page and follow the instructions there. Please note that today I'm going to show you how to run Deep Learning Warbench on Ubuntu 2004. In case you have other Linux distributions, then you might need to change some of these instructions below. So following the form, we need to, first of all, identify whether Docker is installed or not, then selecting the operation system. In our case, of course, it is Linux, and then select available accelerators. So as Linux systems allow you to benchmark and optimize your models on a variety of accelerators, CPU, iGPU, Neural Compute Stick 2, and HDDL, then you're free to choose any combination of them. The only limitation is that Neural Compute Stick 2 and HDDL cannot be simultaneously used in the Deep Learning Warbench. And then we need to select between using Python starter or Docker command, Depending on your needs, you might choose any of them. But the reason to use Python Starter is that you get better feedback, better error handling, and also you always know how much time is left before your Deep Learning Warbench is actually started. So let's choose it. And then below we can see all the instructions that we need to follow to have Deep Learning Warbench running on our system. So the very first step is installing Docker on your system. You can check whether it is installed by running docker minus minus version command. And if it is there, then you can skip this step and proceed to the next one. If it is not, then you need to follow the instructions from the official website. What you need to do is executing a set of commands that would first uninstall old Docker installations, if there are any, and then install Docker on the system. Once you have installed Docker, you need to, to verify that it is properly working by running the Hello World application. For that, you need to use the following command and execute it in the terminal. Once you see that there is a hello from Docker, then you can proceed to the next step. The next step is configuring Docker so that you can run it without sudo. This is an extremely important step. And in order to do that, you need to follow these instructions. First of all, you need to add your user to the Docker group and then apply the settings. In order to check that now your Docker is configured properly, you can run the same Hello World application, but without sudo. If it works and Docker again says hello to you, then it means that Docker is configured properly. And we can proceed to the next step. Once we have configured Docker in our system, we need to make sure that Python and Python Package Manager called pip are installed. As I'm working in the Ubuntu 2004, Python 3 is already bundled, so we can always check it by running python minus minus version in the terminal. In case of pip, it can be not the part of the distribution and we need to install it. For Ubuntu, we can use the following command. When it is installed, we can check its version by running python 3 minus m pip minus minus version and it will output the current version of the pip installed. So we're ready to install OpenVINO Warbench Starter that would maintain our Warbench containers. So we execute this command, and the only step that is left to have Warbench running on our system is actually starting it by using the following command. So we copy this OpenVINO Warbench command, execute it in the terminal, and wait for a while until Warbench is started. So what it does, it actually checks whether the Docker image with the Deal Warbench version is present on the machine. If not, it downloads it from the internet and then creates the new Docker container with all the default settings. As you can see, Deep Learning Warbench is started and you can follow this link in order to see it in your browser. Congratulations, your Deep Learning Warbench is now up and running on the system. You can immediately start optimizing, analyzing and preparing your models for the deployment. If you want to learn more about ways how to customize Deep Learning Warbench starting procedure, you can always explore the documentation. There are plenty of ways. 
In the next video, we will learn how to actually optimize your original model or take the model from the Open Model Zoo and benchmark it and also optimize. If you have any special feedback or questions, please don't hesitate and ask them at the official Intel forum. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.